St. Vincent de Paul, people comment on the physical beauty of our church, but we're more than that. Inside a thriving community of believers. It's been 20 years since our founding. Today, St. Vincent de Paul Parish is growing at an amazing rate. About 20 families join our church each month, almost 2,800 households strong and growing. We're constantly a parish in action. Whether it's children learning the teachings of our church, adults studying the Word, teenagers gathering together, or parishioners enjoying fellowship during a Knights of Columbus pancake feed, our building is used each and every day of the week. No doubt, our needs are growing. It's time to continue our journey. We're embarking on our 20th anniversary as a parish, and during this year, we're hoping to have a very exciting year in terms of not only what we're doing in terms of our capital campaign, but otherwise for the parish. Now 20 years old, we are a parish where so many people have been involved, and we continue to grow every week. Uh, we're over 10,000 people and over 2,800 families, and at this point, plenty of activity going on. We'd like to provide more meeting rooms during the school day, as well as address some of the needs of our school in terms of places that our students can be working, studying, growing together. We're a parish that continues to grow, and we need the help of everyone, from younger to older, as we celebrate 20 years as a family in faith. We are asking for everyone's help. As we celebrate 20 years together, it's time to look to the future. Time for our next building phase to help accommodate the growing needs of our community and the next generation of parishioners. We're asking for your financial support, your investment in the future of our parish. First, the money you pledge over the next three years will help us reduce our existing debt by as much as 40%. Well, I'm a banker for my real job. And one of the things I've been very impressed with uh, at St. Vincent de Paul is just the fiscal responsibility. You've got a group uh, from the leadership committees and the finance uh, committee and the parish council all the way through the, the many folks that helped start this parish that that's an overriding concern is pay down the debt. We've heard it time and time again as we thought about the, the capital campaign and talked to people to get their thoughts. Um, and so that's a very important part of this campaign is to uh, pay down the debt. It will also help renovate existing space for meetings. One of the largest needs we have is meeting space. We are sitting in our family room right now and this is the only meeting room we have during the day, during the week. And uh, there are so many clubs and organizations of parishioners that would like to meet during that time we just don't have the space. Next are children, a need for a separate junior high space. I'm Joe Carlson, and I'm currently an eighth grade student here at St. Vincent de Paul. I have really enjoyed my time here, and I feel that I am very academically prepared for high school. I think that the addition of the junior high wing will be very beneficial to the older students. It will give them independence, separate them from the elementary students, help make the transition to high school easier, and give the elementary students something to look forward to. In the junior high wing, it's going to be a lot more like high school than it would be with all nine grades in the same area. So I think it will really help the older students. Finally, beginning a preschool program for the youngest in our parish. We feel very blessed to be uh, part of the faith community at St. Vincent de Paul and, and also blessed to have benefit from the hard work and sacrifices long-term parishioners made uh, to create this uh, great community and worship space and uh, great facilities for the school. And we're excited to uh, participate and help with the capital campaign uh, to build for the future of the parish. We feel really passionate about um, helping families with young children get connected to the parish and feel involved and welcome. And the preschool will be another great opportunity to uh, really connect families into the parish and the school. And uh, from a personal standpoint, we're excited that when our oldest is in school, the younger ones will be in the same school system and that it will be a loving, nurturing environment that's based on our Catholic faith. I think by starting the preschool and completing the junior high wing, we will be able to better serve all of the needs of our, our students here. When I look at the preschool, I think adding that piece to our 
school will, one, be able to start the religious and academic formation of those students earlier. It will, we'll be able to align our curriculum for preschool with our kindergarten curriculum, which will be an easier transition. When I look at the junior high, I believe those students are at a critical and unique part of their lives. I think that we'll be able to help foster independence and responsibility for those students, along with enhancing our curriculum and the social piece, the academic piece, all of those areas for our junior high students. Twenty years ago, the people who started our parish experienced a sense of ownership and belonging that came from their involvement in building a church and school, not just for themselves, but for the rest of us. When Father Dan first approached me about making a contribution uh, in order to build an additional junior high wing on the school, my natural reaction was to calculate how it would benefit me and my family. And as I thought ahead, I thought, by the time this junior high school wing is finished, um, I will have one child left in the school and he will experience it for one year. But then the more I thought and prayed about it, the more I realized that after all this is done, all my kids have gone through this school, I will have sent five children completely through St. Vincent de Paul School. They will have gone through nine years of education, each, each of the five children, nine years of education in a school that I did not pay for. It was paid for by the people who came ahead of us. People who left a legacy of generosity, people whose children are long since gone from this school, have no more connection to the school at all, and yet my children are still benefiting from that legacy of generosity. And it occurred to me, don't we have that same responsibility to the, to the generations of school children who will come after my children, after mine are long since gone? Doesn't it make sense for us to leave also that legacy of generosity? And so that's why I've chosen to participate. Now it's our chance to share anew and also renew our commitment to our parish family. And lead by example. Well, as a longtime parishioner, and we've been in the parish for about 17 years, and my wife and I have always been involved in various things, but when Father called and asked me to take a leadership role in this campaign, uh, I just felt that it was time for me uh, to get involved and, um, and take, you know, and be a part of this campaign. I think that there's lots of reasons for people to be involved. Uh, for parishioners who've been in the parish for a long time like me, I think there's uh, things that need to be finished up, like with the debt. Um, for the newer parishioners, there's a lot of things to be excited about uh, with the new building, with the preschool, and all the other things that come um, with what's taking place in this campaign. We are really excited to kick off this 20th anniversary capital campaign because it's a great time in the life of St. Vincent de Paul to kind of bring our whole community together. As we look um, to the future with this campaign over the next few months, part of what we're really excited about is engaging everyone at some level in the parish because we have such a large parish community. And as I've visited with the founding members of this parish, one of the things that I've learned and more deeply understand is that if you come together to build something together, you're not only building for yourself, but you're building for the future and the families in the future. And so I guess my challenge to the parishioners here at St. Vincent de Paul is to find a way to actively get involved in this campaign, to become a part of it, to consider your time, your talent, your treasure, whatever that may be, as being a part of actively engaging in St. Vincent de Paul during this 20th anniversary celebration and the campaign that we're getting ready to roll out. St. Vincent de Paul Parish, ready to continue our journey.